It's 2018. Ola and Uber are ruling the Indian mobility space. But nobody seems to be happy. The drivers are unhappy with the incentives, customers are unhappy with the unreliable services and the surge prices, and Uber and Ola themselves are piling up huge losses in India. But nobody can do anything because these are the two massive players in this market. This is where Blue Smart comes in with their three step new approach to this entire mobility sector. The first is that they get their own cars, which means that they have their own fleet. Second, they have drivers on their own payrolls. And third, they go full electric, which means that they need to set up their own charging infrastructure and maintain this entire fleet on their own, right? And Dhruv, uh, you were telling me some interesting results that Blue Smart just released. So uh, I think they're doing something interesting. Why don't you talk about it? Talking specifically about their uh, statistics, right, in terms of how they're doing. Now, they currently have an average run revenue run rate of 400 crores as of, again, 2023. Interesting. Um, which is, again, 60% up from the previous year. Uh, they're doing 17,000 trips a day on an average. Um, as you said, they have um, their core offerings are not only mobility, it's also energy and infrastructure. Um, they have 3 million downloads on their app store. Uh, they have a fantastic retention rate and both of us obviously stand by that very clearly. And as of FY22, they also have a loss of 65 crores, uh, which in some sense is, is understandable because the business is relatively new. They're just growing, right? Um, but obviously, as compared to the losses of Ola and Uber, I think they're still doing really well uh, for the market that they're in. I think the reason why they've been able to get to such numbers in such a short period of time is because of their full stack approach, which includes having a strong tech with a strong focus on operations and excellence, right? And as we have seen in case of urban company, in case of Blinkit, right? The companies which manage to serve the customers end to end eventually win in the market, right? So with that said, I think we'll first talk about service led growth. And there are two parts to it. The first is how they've built their tech and how their tech platform performs. And the second is with respect to how they're growing this business through word of mouth and through other growth initiatives, right? So Dhruv, uh, let me first talk about what are the things that Blue Smarts need to do, right? If, if we were to start a Blue Smart today, what will we have to manage in the first, let's say one, two years, right? First problem is that electric charge, electric vehicles take four to five hours to charge. Second is the right car needs to come at the right time to your location. Third is that the car needs to have enough charge to go from one location to another. Because unlike a petrol or a diesel car, par there you can't stop in between for five minutes and uh, just get petrol and wahasi you can go forward, right? You need uh, a fully charged vehicle to be available from one location to another. Fourth is when it reaches the destination, the system needs to basically decide whether uh, it needs to go to charging. It, it, it needs more charge to serve another user or it can, it has enough charge to go from uh, that location to the new user's location and to his destination. Right. And all this needs to be done while maintaining a high throughput, which means you need to get more rides per car, ensuring that you have zero cancellations. Third is at the same time, you don't want to charge the customers more. Fourth is that you need, there is a constant supply constraint because you have your own car fleet, right? And fifth is that you are competing with behemoths, which have deep pockets like Ola and Uber, right? Sounds like a pretty, big challenge to uh, come up right? really so. really big challenge and you know I was listening to one of the interviews of the co-founders of Blue Smart also and I think he mentioned uh, that the reason that so you know EVs have been clearly you know clearly on rising trend for the last few hmm. years um, but the problem is that there are so many complexities of all the 
things that come with managing the whole supply ch- like the whole supply chain of evs yeah. that people are like you know i don't want to put in so much effort and you know it doesn't bring back that value because once you're into the whole ev game you have to start everything you have to start the yeah. whole chain of events right exactly. Um, exactly so that's why most of these even the biggest players like uber and ola have not been able to properly release evs in yes. in india right because Absolutely. it's such a difficult uh, supply chain to manage i think the way blue smart is functioning right now is there if is that they have done three things in the strategy right first is that instead of launching in every single city they're strategically offering uh, their services at certain locations at certain places only right second is they have expanded their charging infrastructure and we'll get deep into it in a while and third is they're solving for increasing their supply so more number of cars will lead to more number of users ultimately right in a network effects business let's talk about strategically offering their services at at certain places only right to sabse pehle what you need to know about mobility sector is right ki 68% of the entire mobility market which is basically intercity travel theek hai guess kar kin deshon mein matlab kin cities mein hai i guess wahi metros right bangalore mumbai Delhi, something like that. Yeah. So, sixty-eight percent of the entire mobility market is in three cities: M- Mumbai, Bangalore, and um, uh, Delhi NCR. ठीक है? If you combine uh, Calcutta, Hyderabad, all of these other cities as well, it goes to more than eighty percent. ठीक है? तो बियॉन्ड दैट राइट अगर तू सिटी किसी और सिटी में जा रहा है वहां पर तेरे को उतना आउटपुट नहीं मिलेगा बट एज ओला एंड उबर व्हेन यू हैव डीप पॉकेट्स एंड यू वांट टू एक्सपैंड दिस मार्केट यू गो इन टू ईच एंड एवरी सिटी बट एज ऑफ नाउ तीन सिटीज ही तेरे को मेजोरिटी रेवेन्यू दे रही है ठीक है और mm-hmm. अगर mm-hmm. इन तीन सिटीज में इफ यू आर एबल टू गेट टू अ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ यूजर्स एंड गेट अ गुड सर्विस गोइंग you'll eventually uh, eventually scaling up becomes easier for you right but getting these three four cities right is super important so which is why blue smart was for the first one or two years was just in delhi ncr and then they shifted it, their focus to bangalore i so they're just in two cities unlike ola and uber which is in i don't know 100 cities they're just in two cities yeah they're not even covering mumbai as of now right The second thing is that they don't want to uh, service customers who are going for short distances. ठीक है? तो अगर तू देखेगा majority of the users, even you, uh, when you were when you use Blue Smart, you must have used it while either going to the airport or coming from the airport, right? Because that is strategically a longer location. ठीक है? Now why is that? सबसे पहले, what you need to understand is that uh, in EV industry. छोटे डिस्टेंसेज में पैसा उतना नहीं बनेगा इट्स बिकॉज तेरी जो कार का जो चार्जिंग है वो तेरे को मैच नहीं करना है जस्ट फ्रॉम गोइंग फ्रॉम वन लोकेशन टू अनदर लोकेशन अगर तू शॉर्ट डिस्टेंसेज कवर करेगा सो यू वुड बी स्पेंडिंग मोर अमाउंट ऑफ योर चार्जिंग कैपेसिटी टू गो फ्रॉम द ड्राइवर्स लोकेशन टू द यूजर्स लोकेशन अगर वो शॉर्ट डिस्टेंसेज में एंड बिकॉज द लीड टाइम इज जस्ट इज फोर टू फाइव आवर्स टू इसेंशली चार्ज अ व्हीकल it becomes much more difficult for you to have a high throughput and get more rides per car right and second is so this model will only work jaha par long ya semi long distances hai till the time you have a supply constraint because once again you need to keep in mind that blue smart has its own fleet of vehicles theek hai i have a, i have a question i have a question i don't know if you know this uh, but uh is there is there any mapping clear mapping of let's say you know charging locations uh while they are let's say mapping cars traveling right that oh so this car should travel here and the nearest location is here so this whole route now makes sense is, is there something like that so the way their uh, entire system works is so uh this is what we found on the internet right so a car uh, so blue smart what you need to know is that they have their own charging infrastructure theek hai what that essentially means is ki sari cars jo hai kisi kisi charging location pe jayegi aur wahan par apna gaadi charge karegi theek hai ab udhar jo hai they have a lot of drivers theek hai sitting over there so the moment you get a request from a user right you first see ki yaar us location ke aas paas kaun se charging stations hai charging location hai theek hai and then you see ki un charging stations mein se 
कि कौन सी गाड़ियां हैं जो फुल्ली चार्ज हो चुकी हो सकी है या उतनी चार्ज हो चुकी है विच विल हेल्प मी गो फ्रॉम वन लोकेशन टू अनदर लोकेशन फ्रॉम विच विल हेल्प मी गो फ्रॉम दैट लोकेशन टू द यूजर्स लोकेशन एंड यूजर्स लोकेशन टू द यूजर्स डेस्टिनेशन एंड देन सर्विंग अनदर कस्टमर ठीक है सो दिस इज वाई दे नीड टू हैव देर ओन फ्लीट देर ओन ड्राइवर्स ठीक है बिकॉज अदरवाइज ये मैपिंग नहीं कर पाएंगे इफ इट्स एन ओला एंड ऊबर मॉडल ठीक है After the request is gone to the driver, he goes and does the trip. And once the trip is completed, they have built a tech system which will essentially tell you that, "Yar, ab jo ye charge hai, charge in the car will help me go how much of distance." Agar wo distance kisi request se match kar jata hai, the driver will then be asked to go to the other person's location. ठीक है? But agar wo match nahi karta hai, their charging infrastructure is built in such a way that har ek prime location par wo hai, at least in Delhi and CR. ठीक है, सो दे आस्ट द ड्राइवर टू गो फ्रॉम दैट लोकेशन टू द चार्जिंग स्टेशन लोकेशन जहां पर वो चार्ज करेगा वहां पर ड्राइवर पहुंचा अब वहां पर और ज्यादा कार्स है अभी हुआ चार्ज ही कैन पिक अप वन ऑफ दोज कार्स एंड गो टू द यूजर्स लोकेशन दिस इज हाउ देर इंटायर सिस्टम वर्क एंड एट दिस टाइम एंड ऑन टॉप ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दिस इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट देर नीड टू मैनेज की आर ट्रैफिक कितना हुआ है ट्रैफिक uh, कितना लगेगा टाइम कितना लगेगा ऑल ऑफ दोज थिंग्स to essentially manage this zero cancellation wala thing so think about it zero cancellation bhi karna hai search pricing bhi nahi karna kuch nahi karna hai aur ye pura aise manage karna hai ki yaar itna massive matlab you need to be so sure about each and every minute mm. and each and every percentage of charge right so uh, this is how they uh, it's it's sort of a hub and spoke model if you if 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 you think about it right and this is how actually Correct. airlines operate theek hai if you go to any एयरबस पे मतलब इफ यू इफ यू आर इन इंडिगो यू नो एग्जैक्टली कि तेरा कौन सा प्लेन कितने कितना उसका फ्यूल कैपेसिटी बचा हुआ है कितना फ्यूल की उसे जरूरत पड़ेगी वो किस लोकेशन से किस लोकेशन पर जा सकता है ऑल ऑफ दोज थिंग्स राइट नाउ द रीजन वाई आई सेट कि यार चार्जिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इधर इतना इंपॉर्टेंट क्यों है राइट एन एल एन एल कोट पुनीत गोयल हु इज द सी ई ओ ऑफ ब्लू स्मार्ट ओवर हेयर राइट ही सेड इन एन इंटरव्यू एन आई कोट you have to bring in energy connection you have to create the space you have to utilize the space and there are limited spaces in the city so if somebody could take the first mover advantage and build the prep for charging or starbucks of charging or mcdonalds of charging that could be a differentiator model this is exactly what we have set out to do but we need an anchor tenant so blue smart is the anchor tenant over here do you know what an anchor tenant is i don't so anchor tenant is a term which is used in case of airlines theek hai so mm. agar tu singapore pe jata hai theek hai now the entire singapore airport is uh, was first only uh, was first only serving uh, singapore airlines so they held the entire capacity 100% of capacity was like mm. ki yaar main singapore airlines ko hi dunga Now, when Singapore Airlines build this capacity out, कि यार इस ऐसे हमें manage करना है यहाँ पर हमें इतना यहाँ पर हमारे fueling stations होंगे all of those things they manage, ठीक है Now, when you have a control of that entire market, Singapore is a big market, right? अब when other airline want to come into it, let's say Qatar, let's say uh, uh, you mm. know any other airline want to come in, they can come in, but mm. Singapore Airline will then start making money on the capacity that they've been able to build. ठीक है तो अब because Singapore की capacity Singapore Airlines is like यार हम 100% परसेंट कपैसिटी ऑन करते हैं वी आर वेलिंग टू गिव यू फाइव परसेंट ऑफ अर कपैसिटी बट यू नीड टू पे दैट मतलब पे अस इन रिटर्न फॉर यूजिंग आर कपैसिटी दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वट ब्लू स्मार्ट इज डूइंग राइट तो डेली एन सी आर में इन ईच एंड एवरी प्राइम लोकेशन दे हैव बिल्ट आउट देर चार्जिंग लोकेशन चार्जिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर and anyone who wants to come into this space or as evs penetrate and people want to go out and charge their vehicles the only way to do that in an efficient way would be blue smart and this is why this is why you can't scale it up and go into 100 cities in a matter of a year right you need you need to build out that capacity in the entire city because idhar bhi network effects ka game aa jata hai jiske paas प्राइम लोकेशन होंगे जिसके पास ज्यादा कैपेसिटी होगी दे विल बी एबल टू सर्व बेटर बेटर कस्टमर एक्सपीरियंस तो होगा ही बट देर बिल्डिंग अ मोट फॉर द लॉन्ग टर्म राइट सो लाइक वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टेक वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टफ 
एंड द वे दे आर सॉर्ट ऑफ स्केलिंग दिस बिजनेस अप एज वेल राइट बिकॉज तो ब्लू स्मार्ट इज नॉट ओनली अ मोबिलिटी कंपनी इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट दे आर ऑल्सो बिल्डिंग दे आर ऑल्सो अ चार्जिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर कंपनी दे आर ऑल्सो अ चार्जिंग कंपनी तो यहाँ पे जो है दीज गाइज नीड टू थिंक ऑफ वेज टू स्केल इट अप तो दे आर बिल्डिंग दिस बी टू बी बिजनेस अलॉन्ग विद अलॉन्ग विद देयर मोबिलिटी बिजनेस Uh, which would help them uh, increase the supply of both their cars as well as charging station so for example they have these two uh, programs that they've recently launched it's called blue assure and blue charge theek hai blue assure kya hai ki to if if you want to be an owner of uh, blue smart theek hai blue smart cars you can buy 10 uh, blue smart ke cars for let's say a crore and you gets approximately matlab this is what they are claiming we are not investment advisors so please don't <laughs> invest based on what we are saying but apparently you can earn up to 14% irr uh, over a four year lease to terko jo hai 1 crore pe approximately 14 lakh rupaye milenge mota mota theek hai on whatever cars that you are that you are putting up to uh, because they are managing their own fleet they know exactly ki kitne Uh, किस कार के कितना रेंटल uh, आया है क्या आया है दे आर एबल टू दे आर दे आर एबल टू स्केल इट अप इन टर्म्स ऑफ फाइनेंसिंग बाय बाय गिविंग पीपल एक्सेस टू देयर प्लेटफॉर्म सेकेंडली ब्लू चार्ज में दे यू कैन इफ यू हैव अ लैंड विच इज बैरन एंड इन अ प्राइम लोकेशन दैट ब्लू स्मार्ट वॉन्ट्स वॉट दे डू इज दैट दे विल सेट इट सेट अप अ चार्जिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन योर लैंड सो so, उससे तेरे को क्या फायदा होगा तेरे को रेंटल यील्ड मिलने लग जाएगा अच्छा रेंटल यील्ड मिलने लग जाएगा ब्लू स्मार्ट गेट्स अनदर प्राइम लोकेशन दैट इज हाउ दे नाउ स्केलिंग अप राइट विच इज विच इज वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ओला एंड ऊबर स्ट्रैटेजी बट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड दे आर बिल्डिंग अ लॉन्ग टर्म मोड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट या आई मीन यू नो आई डोंट इवन थिंक यू कैन एक्चुअली compare ola and uber with this model because yeah uh, as as we discussed right they are not just a mobility company they are also a tech energy and a mobility company right yes absolutely um, so th- there is there is absolutely no comparison because you know for the longest time i was like okay how does blue smart really run operations and after re- researching on it and reading about it i realized that koi comparison hai nahi this is a completely different company altogether yeah. right and we'll also discuss why uh apart from the fact that they are doing infra and energy uh they have all these programs like blue shore as you said uh, apart from that the whole even the whole driver model it is it is 180 degrees completely different right yes. um yes so we already discussed from the sng perspective we discussed uh you know all the service side of things uh but here comes the most one of the mo- one of the more interesting parts i also feel uh which is their whole driver model right so i remember rakshit when i was first using one of the blue smart uh, coming from the airport that too um <laughs> i was speaking to one of these drivers and the driver was so convinced about this brand it hmm. kind of shocked me कि यार इतना कुछ एम्प्लॉय कहाँ से है भाई yeah, मतलब ही वॉज जस्ट लाइक सर वी आर द बेस्ट यू नो एवरीबडी कम्स एंड रैंड्स अबाउट ऊबर एंड ओला इन 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 ब्लू स्मार्ट कैब्स एंड यू नो सर हमारी गाड़ी कोई कंपेरिजन है ही नहीं and like this is pretty interesting because i've never heard any driver i mean every time i've used an uber ola they only complain about the company right i've yeah. never heard a driver actually talking good about the company yeah. right so yeah. this yeah. was surprising in the first sense itself but here's where things get interesting right um now i was listening to you know one of puri goel's interviews again and as he said their core offerings are mobility tech and charging infra so fair enough however all that being said i feel like the real brand is actually their drivers mm-hmm. right and it's a weird thing to say but mm-hmm. in reality the kind of scale that they are playing and the kind of model that they are playing right apart from their other business uh, business lines right drivers by itself is a very important brand for them and mm-hmm. I, i'll just come to why i feel that's the case now as i said the driver was super friendly when i used blue smart and you know he was so convinced about the whole business now plot twist is that unlike uber and ola who again own uh, who don't own their fleet right they don't actually own their cars they're only an intermediary uh, getting commission on every time drivers are connected to passengers right the drivers of blue smart are actually their employees right and this is something i didn't know for a very long time um which which was not surprising once i heard it because 
uh, of how convinced these people are about their whole brand right mm-hmm. now how uh, how blue smart has been ma- has managed to actually uh, you know build out this whole arm of the driver driver growth is the fact that they have decoupled the asset and the driver right and let me just quickly explain the problem statement here now mm-hmm. with the likes of uber and ola what often tends to happen is the problem of the drivers themselves because think about it these drivers are people who come from tier 2 tier 3 cities struggling to get a cab by themselves right i remember uh, talking to a lot of the drivers from uber ola and they often say ha sir matlab you know abhi abhi loan pe gaadi liya hai you know those kind of things so you have to understand that these are people already having a difficulty owning the asset itself getting the asset itself right in some cases when they're going out to take these loans they're paying out a hefty interest of almost 20% in some cases yeah. right which yeah. which for 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 these people for the middle class to low middle class people this is extremely hard to manage right now imagine someone having debt burden on their head uh, 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 an asset that they own end to end and also uh, you know the whole uh, the whole stress of driving right now this is a very big problem by itself because you want your employees your drivers to op- to operate at optimal capacity at all points right you don't want them like they are the only link if you think about it they are the only link to your service right mm-hmm. the only link to a passenger is the driver if the driver himself is stressed about loan things like again as i said debt uh, you know driving uh, everything else that comes with it right it becomes a very problematic experience right so what punit goel and his team has been able to solve at a very very important mm-hmm. level is actually improving the experience of the drivers themselves Hmm. right by actually decoupling the assets right so in the case of blue smart i don't think we talked about this at length but the in case of blue smart blue smart actually leases its cars from uh, institutions so they've actually institutionalized the whole uh, model of you know having cars uh, so that is one thing and then it is passed on to drivers right yeah. and these drivers are also essentially employees of the company right so in that sense what they have done is they have removed the entire pressure of owning and buying or uh, you know having a car with yeah. the driver and the driver now only focuses on the experience of driving right, right. when you Correct. do so much what you have essentially managed to solve is again the biggest link to your from your service to your passenger right yeah. and a very interesting another very interesting thing i was just scrolling through the social media the other day and i'll probably put up the screenshot is how much again how much they have actually branded their drivers right so in one instance they were actually talking about how blue smart uh, you know trains its employ its its drivers Correct. uh in terms of how they have to talk to or communicate with the clients right yeah. now imagine it's it is legit like you know a whole restaurant service where every re- every waiter is taught how to talk what to do how to communicate well right if you can do so much right you're going to optimize the customer experience like anything right so in one case some a, a, a customer you know sort of wanted to smoke in the car so uh, there is a proper training program that these guys were operating where they tell okay if if in case a customer wants to smoke in the car how do you in a non aggressive way tell them that you know what politely ki sir please aap matlab gaadi se bahar matlab please smoke outside the car right yeah. so this is very interesting because this is essentially their whole branding objective of branding their drivers as the one of the forefront matlab operators of the business and focusing so much effort in improving the driver experience itself hmm. right hmm. so this was really interesting because i personally had no idea that this is the case and yeah. this is again this sort of changes the whole experience overall also i don't know if you know this or not but uh two two points to add over here right that only 1% of total people who apply to become blue smart uh, drivers actually get in and become a blue smart driver right and the second thing is that a, a blue smart uh, driver on average earns approximately 1.5 to 2x of what an average ola and uber driver makes right so that's just uh, so if i were to draw some parallels uh, from blue smart uh we spoke about this in the urban company episode as well if you haven't checked it out i would strongly suggest you check that out as well correct no absolutely i mean 
that is i mean obviously you they are getting some of the best of the best talent another thing i remember sometime back was when um uh, you know rapido got into this whole problem of um you know trust the trust factor when there was some some sort of news around them um i, I don't want to particularly go into the whole topic but uh, a very big uh, you know issue kind of broke out with the yeah. passenger and the driver yeah. right and it was because the driver was not adequately the background was not ad- adequately checked right another thing that boostmart has been able to solve with the whole driver growth model is making sure all the end of the driver so as an as you select a very top quality talent for an employee right that's what they're doing with the drivers hmm. right so making sure that everything is covered so that we are hiring some of the best talent right yes. so very interesting in that sense coming to the next uh, you know few points on the more marketing front of this whole equation right which is how they've actually built out their brand right and i'll quickly sort of go into this now blue smart from what i've at least seen in their advertising space is that they are they are prioritizing two or three usps right one is zero cancellation right one of the bigger pain points in in indian cab hailing services mm-hmm. right um, getting cancelled as much as you know very frequently um, the second is surge pricing to some extent and the third is the trust factor that we already mm-hmm. discussed uh, you know how they've been able to solve that right mm-hmm. now they've roped in some influencers to actually particularly uh, you know focus on the pain point of the zero cancellation right and they've done this by again showing influencers going to the airport and actually you know using the blue smart thing where they are stress free they are not worried because their cab will come on time right mm-hmm. and i think what they managed to do with this uh, is conquer the one fear that most people have is ki bhai mereko apni airport matlab flight nahi miss karni <laughs> and one yeah. of the links to missing a flight is ki bhai cab late hi aane chahiye yes. right so if you can do that right uh, again if you have a service that comes on time offers you zero cancellation mm-hmm. i think that is one thing they've really focused on um and it seems like one something that also is probably high converting from a, a acquisition standpoint yeah, right a very yeah. big pain point for a lot of customers yeah. right so that is a quick note on their uh, service branding uh, i think good. you missed an important uh, point in in case of branding right to hmm. uh, har ek blue smart ki cab jo bhi hoti hai right uske andar bahut they have done this beautiful design of where they ride blue smart and thoda sa use jazzy yeah. banaya hua ek simple car ko and the they have these physical cars 17000 times jo tere ko road mein dikhegi right that automatically becomes your advertisement for all the people who are traveling right and just out of curiosity you're like yaar ye blue smart kya hai this is what gojek hmm. did in southeast asia gojek grab all of these people did this is what zomato and swiggy did earlier in their years where they used to give drivers a t-shirt aur wahan par zomato swiggy ka bag hota tha so uh, and because there is a physical nature to this service there is automatic brand recall which happens when you are driving i remember a case where i was uh, you know reading one uh, interview by anmol jaggi the co-founder of blue smart and he said that in 2022 their entire marketing spend was 1 cr now one cr for a company averaging 400 uh, crores uh, on a yearly basis is nothing i will tell you it is nothing for a, a company of their uh, you know of their size it, it is absolutely nothing right and and you can clearly see that everything is service led growth right including that branding on the cars including you know the whole driver model that they have built up everything is service led growth for them they have not spent anything on marketing in general apart from a few influencers and little bit advertising right and i don't think they require that also right and um coming to a very interesting aspect of their uh, of their uh, whole marketing module which is their service rating now this is an interesting uh, part because they have maintained their service rating at 4.9 on 5 across all verticals which is your app store your google play uh, everywhere you check in ki service rating is 4.9 right which obviously clearly beats every other cab hailing service in the market matlab if you look at uber ola they are i think in the range of 3 to 4 uh, but nothing at 4.9 right and this is interesting because uh you, you just one might ask ki yaar uh, matlab how can someone actively maintain a uh, a rating of 4.9 and i'll actually tell you how you can actually do this right because 
uh it's not just about building a very good quality service obviously that is one part of the equation but the second part of the equation is how customer centric these guys are now i was actually scrolling through a couple of their comments on google play app store uh, even on twitter everywhere that customers raise uh, raise complaints right i actually went through all of their um you know queries i realized that blue smart and i'll put up a snapshot here blue smart actually has a team that responds to every single customer every single customer that complains about their business they are actively responding to these people so think of it this way right that let's say a customer comes today and gives you a three rating saying that faltu service right and you and you leave it because you're not focused that much on maintaining ratings right but if you're a company like blue smart what you're doing is you're deploying a team to actively respond to every single query asking them what happened answering them and ultimately hoping uh, that once you have resolved their problem they actually go back and either delete the rating altogether or probably edit it and change it right now if you can essentially change all the negative customer feedback to positive by actively responding to them you can in some sense maintain a very high rating and another thing that anmol jaggi in his interview mentioned was that hamari rating ki wajah se we have actually scaled to a very large extent right because if you see a rating of let's say 4.9 on a cab hailing service right and think about it this way also ki yaar cab hailing mein what are the problem matlab pain points for you you want trust you want good service you want to reach your location on time all these things right now blue spot has actually managed to solve all of these problems and maintain a very good rating right so it's a very big factor when it comes to ac user acquisition in general right is a very very big factor to actually throw that usp in the air yeah. saying ki bhai we are almost 515 rated yeah. right so yeah. this was really interesting uh, in in some sense now i don't want to shame uber and ola particularly but i was looking at the complaint management systems of uber now and there were a lot of queries that went unanswered right so in that sense i think uh, it's a very very big game that uh, blue smart is winning here and with that said that's a wrap on today's episode of perspectify make sure you subscribe to the podcast if you like our episode so far and uh, we also run a, a community called perspectify community where we discuss a lot more in terms of marketing growth and product uh, so make sure you join that the link will be in the description box signing off take care have a good day